In this video, we're going to discuss creating a sheet file in AutoCAD. Now, a base file is where you actually do all the graphics work. You actually draw the plans and you lay out the electrical runs and the mechanical conduit and the, and the piping and, and all that other kind of stuff. In a sheet file is where you actually print. Um, so, this is creating a sheet file and we're going to use our standard Aguirre Roden templates for that. So once again, click the AutoCAD menu, go to New, and select the template for Aguirre Roden sheet file. Now once again, the sheet file comes pre-baked with the layers that you'll need for a sheet file. And it comes with the print settings also baked in. Very, very minimum setup is going to have to do in order for this to be printed properly. So what we're going to start with, so I'm going to go to my reference layer. I'm going to open my XREF dialog. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to save this file. Uh, I'm going to, as this example, this is going to be the architectural ground floor plan. I'm going to save the file. And once again, documents, a uh, new folder, just because this is where all these tutorial documents are. Uh, so here's my ground floor plan. So the, this particular plan is going to be A-101. Nothing real out of the ordinary there. But you'll notice that's all there is to this file name and there's a very important reason for that and we'll get to it in a moment. Click Save. So then you can see my file name is A-101. <clears throat> Once again, open my XREF dialog. I'm going to attach a drawing. Architectural level one. I'm going to turn off, I'm going to change the path to relative type. Everything else stays the same. And here we are, and you're going to say nothing happened. That's because we're zoomed in real far. Do a zoom extents. There's my file. <clears throat> Again, really, really super basic. Uh, for the intensive of this to, um, tutorial, that's fine. I'm going to click on my layout. And this layout is not configured. Uh, the settings are ready to be used, it's just no setting has been applied. So I'm going to right click on my layout tab, come up to Page Setup Manager. We created a 24 by 36 title block, so I'm going to select my 24 by 36 PDF. And I can either double click or I can click on Set Current. And it takes all those settings all the settings that have been pre configured and are ready to use and applies them to the current layout. Now you can see how the size of the viewport is uh, is much smaller because the size of the page got bigger. So I'm going to make my viewport larger. Move him up a bit. I'm going to double click in my viewport to actually enter my viewport and now I'm going to set my view scale. And I'll come down here and I'll say this is a rather large plan so let's select a sixteenth of an inch. It's not quite that large. Let's change that to an eighth, see what it looks like. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. So I'm done with that. I will lock my viewport. I'm kind of stickler on this one. If you're going to be using viewports, you lock them down. Um, double click outside my viewport to leave my viewport. And I'm going to highlight my viewport and I'm going to stretch this corner in. I'll stretch my corner into here. Okay. So I'm looking at this, my viewport's at an eighth of an inch, everything's good. Let's go back to my model space for a moment, double check, yes, my annotation scale here is at an eighth of an inch, that's fine. We're going to concentrate right now on making sure everything is set to print. Okay, the only thing that I have left, there are two things that I have left to do, and that's reference in my title block, and I'm going to name my layout. If this is my ground floor plan, I'm going to right click on layout, type, click on rename, I believe you can also double click on a layout name and I'll just type in for plan. You know what? Let's do this a little different. Level one plan. Just in case we want level one plan, level two plan, level three plan. It's a little more consistent in its naming. Press return. Come back to external references. You'll notice I'm still on my uh, my layer. Current layer is still uh, G for general and then XREF. Uh, external references. Select. Attach DWG. There's my title block. Click OK. Once again, relative path. Everything here stays the same. Uh, it's usually a good idea to select overlay 
the uh, difference between overlay and attachment is actually rather long, and I'm not going to cover it in this video. So click OK. There's my title block. It's set and ready to go. Now if I zoom in here, the edge of my title block is actually on the inside of the printer margin. It's not at the edge of my page. I'm looking for a way to automatically correct for that, but for now, we just drag him down and eyeball him in so that he's in, he's in the right spot. Zoom extents. Do you know the real quick way to zoom extents is just to double click on your scroll wheel. I'm going to zoom all the way in here and I'll double click on my scroll wheel. There it is. Really, really fast way to zoom extents. Okay, now, remember how I talked about these magical pieces of text down here at the bottom? I zoom in. See how my magical text in my title block is reading level 1 plan and A101? A101 is accurately referencing the name of my drawing. Level 1 plan is accurately referencing the name of my layout. That's what this text is all for. That's why I set this up the way it is. Now, obviously we have a lot more layers here than we really need. Go to my layer manager, expand my XREF so that I can see just the layers in my title block. Since this is an architectural file, I'm going to select my first uh, engineering seal layer. I'm going to hold down my shift key and select the last one. The shift key will automatically select everything in between the current click and my last one. Freeze all those layers. I'm going to collapse my reference dialog. Go back to all. I'll just take my mouse off of that and it'll go away. So you can see I have architectural CAD operator and the architectural supervisor. Since we did not put an architectural seal in here, you're not going to see it. Remember that the seal that we placed was Frosty's, and for that art, for this exer for that exercise, he was a mechanical engineer. So there we are. Uh, let's say that we want to change who the uh, CAD operator is and who the supervisor is. Uh, at the moment, uh, CAD operator is, since it's in the reference file, it's one name and it's visible everywhere, every time that layer is on. A very easy way to get to this information is highlight your XREF, right click, and you can say open XREF, and it will automatically open that file. Now I'm going to come down here. You can see I'm back down here and see how big, you know, see the, the magical text already is re referencing the name of our file. But that's not really a big deal because it also references the other things that I want it to. So I'm going to change all these. I'm just going to turn them off because I'm in it for it to be temporary. And uh, since this is going to be, I'm going to make this Dave's project. Nick Pazinski, but this is me. All right, that's all done. Back down here. And I'm going to come back in my place. You know what? Let's, let's say this is in Oklahoma somewhere. I'm going to use Dave's Oklahoma seal. And once again, we're not ready to sign a seal, so it's the pre-seal verbiage. Use my visibilities for that. Zoom extents. Again, I keyed the command in. I can just double-click on the mouse uh, scroll wheel for that. I'm done. I'll click. I'll press save. I'll close the file, and now I'm getting the message that the reference has changed. So I'll say reload the reference. You see that information is up to date, and now there's Dave's preliminary Oklahoma seal in there. So, and that's that's getting everything set up. And you say, okay, fine. How to print this? Really, really difficult thing to do. You click the print button, and you say, okay. Everything else is configured perfectly to make a PDF file. Now here's why we name the file what we do, and why we name the uh, uh, name the layout what we do. When I create my PDF, its name is ready to go. We know that this PDF is A101 and it's a level one plan. And I've got it in my my documents directory. I'll put it in my PDF files. Say save. It's not really a whole lot going on. There it is. There's my PDF file. And the only thing that I did wrong is that my viewport is on the wrong layer. So let's close out of Adobe. Highlight my viewport. You can see it's on layer zero. 
It's not supposed to be on layer zero. Uh, my viewport is actually supposed to, supposed to be on the viewport layer, and I do have one of those. Viewport. There we go. Scan. We'll save it. Click print. Remember all this information here. Set and ready to go. Don't have to change a thing. Click OK. Once again, there's my file name. Click save. Do I want to overwrite it? Yes, I do. And there it is. <clears throat> so I've created a PDF file and now it's ready to be sent on to our plot service or print 11 by 17, sent to a consultant, whatever. So that's setting up and using a, uh, a sheet file. There you go.